Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. It is pajama day. So I have been playing in a brand new altered book. Uh, I have created quite a challenge for myself. Uh, I will tell you a little bit about that. So Rue sent me these spray acrylic paints, which are very awesome. They are Art Spray Mixed Media. I'm sure they have a company on them. M-A-R-A-B-U, I think. I don't have the right glasses on. <laughs> I have my non-glare glasses on. My, my reading glasses are over there. My everyday glasses are over there. These are my non-glare ones for you guys on YouTube. Makes me giggle. Anyway, Rue sent these to me a long time ago, and I've just been afraid to play with them. Uh, so I started playing with them this morning. They're quite delicious. They are almost like a watercolor. They're very, very fun, but they dry um, like an acrylic. So then the Mod Podge doesn't make them run. So those are fun. Uh, if I can find them on Amazon, I'll leave a link there. I've also got uh, Arteza. Uh, I've become an affiliate, with, an affiliate with them because I love their um, paint markers. Oh my goodness. For dots the best. So I'll leave a link to that as well. Um, what else? Oh, back to the book that I have started playing with today. My challenge is going to be to uh, use those spray acrylics only and to use an image of Frida. I'm going to give myself quite a challenge and I'm going to use just one image of Frida. I have her image here someplace. Okay, so I have her image here. This is the only image that I'm going to use through the whole book, and I'm going to alter it in many ways. Now in this one, uh, I gave her a door there, and then we'll put something behind there on the next page. Okay, can you see? It's pretty fun. And then I made a poem on this side, and that is my intention, is to, on one side, have Frida, and on the other side, to have a poem. And that was just a page uh, that I had out of this book, the center page that I tore out of the book. Uh, I used one of those pages, and I created the poem. So I was just lucky enough that all the goodies came off one page. So this is what... Uh, this is how I'm challenging myself. I'm inviting you to come along with me on that challenge, if you so choose, to have one image uh, through your altered book, uh, Marilyn Monroe, uh, your dog, um, your family. You can use photos that have more than one person in them. Uh, vintage photos. I just talked to Karen and she does vintage uh, collage. So a vintage photo. Um, you can change it by making windows in it, doors in it, pockets of it. Uh, you can put a zipper in it. Uh, there's all kinds of ways that you can alter one picture. So I'm really testing our imagination on this. Um, so yeah, some of these uh, will be public videos and some of them will be exclusive to Patreon. Uh, Patreon does get a step-by-step -step instruction uh, PDF for every video that I publish, whether it's uh, public or whether it's exclusive. There's always a step-by-step. -step. And then I continue to have my mentorship meetings uh, with everyone at the Supreme level once a month for 20 minutes, which I have to say is a blast. So, all right, lots to say this morning. We're back in an altered book. Uh, we have a challenge. Take it, don't take it. Entirely up to you. I might be playing on another project while we're doing the Altered Book Challenge as well. If you want to show your work, you can certainly show it on um, Facebook if you're part of our YouTube Village uh, using our videos. You can show it on Instagram by hashtag AUGFK Challenge. Okay, and then if you put if you mention me, then I will get to see what you've done uh, in the village, uh, in the village of uh, Painted Hands. So we have our YouTube village, we have the village of Painted Hands, and we also have Instagram. Any of those places where you can post it and I can see it, I would love to see your progress in the challenge. So uh, to summarize what the challenge is. 
limit yourself to what you are going to be using for the background. Uh, paint, watercolor paint. I'm going to be using a spray acrylic, uh, chalk pastels. Stay to one medium for the backgrounds. Challenge yourself there. And then one image that you're going to alter throughout the book. So. Okay, lots to say this morning. Let's jump into our alter book with Frida. See on the table. All right, here is the first two-page spread in our All About Frida book. I'm so excited. It's going to take some imagination throughout the book. Uh, I'm ready for the challenge. How about you? So I used uh, spray acrylics, underpants, spray acrylics, the image, uh, altered image, corrugated cardboard, um, some words from the pages that I removed from this particular signature. So... Yeah, that was, that was a fun challenge. I look forward to the next two-page spread. Okay, are we ready to start a new book? So this is the Portable Irish Reader. This has a lot of yummy pages. This has, let's see, 670 pages. Seems like a good, strong spine area. Um, the sub or the signatures are sewn in. I'm going to be able to remove a lot of pages here. This is kind of flexible. The covers are kind of flexible. 1946, 10 cents. Oh, hopefully we can keep that, huh? It says Tucson. Looks like it had a library card there at one time. Usually, for some reason, I start off in the center of the book. Here's my signature threads here, so I'm going to remove a few pages out of that center. Like I say, this book is going to be losing some pages. So I took about six pages, six double pages, out of the center of that one. One, two, three, one, two, three and four and four on this side one two three and four and we will begin our book oh this is going to be fun so i'm going to grab my mod podge and glue these pages together four on each side good morning coffee in hand yoga done pages are glued together four on each side and I'm just going to put some underpants on both pages. And get this show started. Okay, so I've got the underpants on my two-page spread. Gorgeous. Set this aside to dry. I found these stickers on a walk with Mr. Hudson yesterday. Have to use those. This is the image that I'm going to use throughout the book. I might use it smaller, I might use it bigger. Uh, I've printed it out on my laser printer, just on printer paper, and I am going to be playing with that from page to page throughout this book, uh, altering her in some way. She's just so fantastic. Now I'm bringing out my jelly plate, kind of having some mental ideas this morning. These are some uh, acrylic sprays that were sent to me a long time ago, and I've just been too afraid to play with them. So we are going to play with them this morning on the jelly plate. Aren't they gorgeous? All kinds of colors. So I'm going to bring in my gesso and a gift card or a credit card, and I'm just going to add some gesso or a bite to these two pages. Now, as I'm pondering this book, I just have to say that I am just a bit bored with me right now. <laughs> so, we're going to have some fun and challenge ourselves to do something a little bit different today with, the, with this book. So 
So I sprayed two colors of the spray acrylic on my jelly plate. Ooh, that's gorgeous. All right, we're gonna have to soak that up with something. We'll take those pages that we took out of the book. Soak that glorious paint up, because that is beautiful. We don't want to waste that. Let that dry. Bring in one last color. These are such a gentle color. More translucent. They're beautiful. All right, let's let that dry. All right, so I'm challenging myself in this book to limit my supplies to the spray acrylics and to Frida's image. So it's really going to take a lot of imagination to uh, create different pages with those limited supplies. Um, but we're up for it, right? I'm just going to roughly cut her out. And now I'm going to cut her out more precisely. I'm just dragging you right along with the process here. So I had some corrugated cardboard, apparently, that I had painted silver. So I'm just going to play with that a little bit. Just cutting the wings so that they'll fit her body a little bit better. Alright, I have a piece of cardboard, a cereal box, anything like that will do. Not too thick. And I'm just going to glue her down on that with some Mod Podge. So I stuck my finger in the Mod Podge, tore off one of the wings of the bird. So we know we'll have to play a little bit with that. And I'm going to cut her out. Oh, she's so gorgeous. How can we even make her better? We cannot. Okay, so I brought in a piece of the corrugated cardboard and just cut it to fit the top of her head. Not quite sure what we'll do with that yet, but it is fun. Okay, after much monkeying around with focal points and 
altered images and things like that. We are just going to glue her together. All right, I'm going to go ahead and glue her into the book and then I will trim off the things that need to be trimmed off. Okay, so what I did is I cut her wing, put one on this side of the page, one on this side of the page. I'm going to go ahead and put my rice bag on her and let her dry. All right, she's pretty dry. I'm going to trim her down and then stabilo her. She's gorgeous. So I'll still billow around the edge of the page and then around our gorgeous Frida. I have a silver Sharpie. Give her some earrings. pillow around that rooster. Now I have Frida on the right side of the page, of the two page spread. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a poem on this side using the pages that I tore out from the center of the signature. So I'm going to go through here and just pick out some interesting things and see if I can create a fun yet powerful poem for Frida. Okay, I thought she was done and it was time to start the poem, but guess what? <laughs> We're going to put a hinge on this. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut this side. And the top. But I'm going to leave this side intact. hold it in place while we get the hinge on there. Alright, I have three sides cut. I'm going to put the hinge on here and on here. This I'm going to have to really push that down. We can do that. I'm going to put the screw in here though. So there's my two screws. Bring in my wire cutters. Cut the, the bottom of the screw off. 
So I've snipped those off. Okay, we'll, we'll take care of those spurs someplace else down the line. So there's quite a level difference between this part of the hinge and this part of the hinge. So I'm hoping that the tacky glue will hold that. We shall see. Life is an experiment. All right, this is the completed page, I think. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? It doesn't fold all the way down, but that's okay because our altered books don't fold all the way closed anyway. So now I'm going to go back and cut out some words for a poem for the other side. Okay, I've actually just used one page. I was able to find some pretty juicy words on one page. And I just cut them out with the exacto. Now I'll create the poem. I know I'm going to put the poem on the center of the page. And if the Mod Podge is wet, then I can move these things around. All right, so I put Mod Podge on the top, so it's all sealed. Let's read our little poem. If you know any of Frida's history, this may make sense to you. It's called... You've no call to torment yourself. She remembered it well, a heavy man, big mustache. She longed for it, a cart under the horse's feet. She couldn't sleep. She couldn't open her eyes either. She curled up in the blankets and she mourned. Now I'm just going to stabilo under the words, not under and on top. Then I'm going to bring in just a black pen and I'm going to make some loopy loops. Just play a little bit with those loopy loops. So I've gone through and make, made like, uh, oh, rose thorns or barbed wire or whatever you want to call it. I'll probably be using that throughout this book. And just some stabilo around the edge. Bringing in my silver Sharpie. So there it is, your project for today. I ended up putting screws in here. We'll reinforce that on the other side. When we get to the other side, the spurs are here. That's okay. And I shaved a little bit of that off so that it fits a little bit better. And I'm happy with that. So go create, go play, go have fun. <laughs>